I hate to start my vlog so chaotic. Mm. So let me tell you guys about my day. So basically, I worked like a triple shift. Like I am, when I say I'm so exhausted, I'm so exhausted. I was supposed to get my hair done today at 2 o'clock. You know what I got this morning at... Where's her number? At 8.27 today. Good morning, Danico. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to have to reschedule your quick weave appointment. I can refund you to make your deposit. I can refund you your deposit for the last minute inconvenience. 827. But you know why I'm kind of low-key thankful? Because I really wanted my hair freshly done tomorrow. And technically, tomorrow was booked. And what I like, she does wash and she is going to color. I don't know if y'all can see my gray hairs. But I have... Let me see. Y'all see my gray hair? It's like... All right. Yeah. Part of how my hair looks because... I wasn't really taking care of my hair because I'm just like, okay, I'm getting it done. So anyways, I'm going to do an unboxing um, because I had a few goodies. And I'm like, wait, maybe I should show you guys what I got. So this package is from, oh, it's not even a cute box. But I got this from Nordstrom. Um, I'm actually wearing this tomorrow on my date night. So I will show you guys the full look once I'm finished. So this is a two-piece set from Naked Wardrobe. Um, good thing I listened to reviews because they said to size up. So I actually got a large, a large in the pants. And what I like so far, I mean, you guys can't see, but it is pretty long and the material seems really good. Now this top, I was a little nervous about because, um, I kind of heard like some reviews that people wear like small sizes and they cannot fit the top. I feel like I'm going to be all right, but we'll see. Next, I let me tell you how long. Like I said, I've been having a week. So why did I wake up Thursday morning and I said, yeah, I need to get some makeup. I want to try the new makeup by Mario and the Patrick Star setting spray finally restocked. I ordered everything on Thursday, forgetting, completely forgetting. Mind you, I have the Sephora app, I have the emails, I know notifications, everything. The sale was Friday, and I ordered everything on Thursday. But when I tried to um like go on my cart again and see like the difference, because I was actually gonna send this back, order another one, and then you know, exchange. All this stuff is not even eligible for a sale. And today I think is 30%, and then like up until like the what is it, the second? Let me see. The six. It goes down and down and down. So I say, you know, I'm just going to keep it and better luck next time. So I finally got it. I heard this spray is like A1. Um, this with the Charlotte Tilbury. Finally got it. Next. Um, I'm so excited about this one too. This is the Makeup by Mario Concealer. And I got it in the shade... 420 and by the looks of it i do think that this will be my shade for my under eye um and mind you i did all this off the top of my head because i'm like i don't feel like going to the sephora store so i hope that everything matches me very well then i also got the foundation and i heard it's ooh, okay this is a little bit on the darker side well from what it looks like oh actually no i think this is actually my shade it just looked a little dark um, when I opened it, but actually, yeah, this might be a good one. This might be good. So these are it. I'm so excited to try. I heard this concealer. Oh, part of my nails, y'all. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Pardon me. This is a safe space. So I don't want to hear it. So if you was judging me, eh. Next, I got the Makeup Magnet Primer. Um, this is from the One Size Patrick Star brand as well. It's called Secure the Blur. Um, and I hope it's actually good. Um, I don't know why I just took it out to smell. <laughs> but yeah, I hope it's good. And then I also wanted to try different products to contour with. So I got the Milk Makeup um, Sculpt Stick. And this is in shade Simmer, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. And I saw on TikTok that you should try to keep this cap on because... Um, it changes the consistency when the cap is not on. Not this cap, but the actual, like, protection of that. So, yeah, that was my mini 
makeup haul. Very excited to do my makeup tomorrow. Then I have to go buy some bundles because I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. Oh, and then I have with my outfit for tomorrow, I got this jacket. And this is actually from Fashion Nova. It was so cute when I saw it. So y'all see the look I've been going for with the reds and the blue? Yeah. Ah. So how I want to wear this jacket, I don't want to actually wear the jacket. And I actually, it was so funny. I actually ordered this jacket like super late, like on, I think, Thursday. Yeah, probably Thursday. And the original package said that it would arrive on Monday. So I had to reorder another jacket and I just paid for one day shipping. So this is the vibe of how I want to wear the dress. Just very, you know. So I hope to get some bomb pictures. So tonight, I'm actually going to a Halloween party. So I'm actually going to take a little nap and kind of get my life together before um, I go. You guys have to see my costume. It is the most unserious costume that you're probably going to see this Halloween. I didn't feel like skinning out. Amazon had it for $21. So guess who bought it? I did. So I will see you guys once I'm like dressed for the Halloween party. And thanks for listening to me that because I had a very interesting day. So I will be back. Okay, guys. So my sister had my package, right? <laughs> and uh, this is my costume tonight. I am a dinosaur rider i don't know what you want to call this but it was 20 dollars on amazon and yeah i'm about to put it on i think i have to inflate it outside the party though so i will keep you guys posted but yeah very interior costume i think it blows up to 72 inches i don't know but let's see Hi. Be right back. Hi. Oh, you look so nice. Okay, that was the mister. And the mister said that I am not ready. So, I will see you guys when I get there. Like, you see the speech? You know the late speech that you get as a woman? I'm just not in the mood for that tonight. Maybe tomorrow. And I did such a horrible job covering that up because I don't have time. But yeah, okay, so I'll see you guys when I get there because I'm not in the mood for the beach. Let me hurry up. All right, this is how the costume is supposed to look. And I'm going to put it on and let's see how it goes. Wait, it's to the side? Huh? Oh, the donkeys are here. Yeah, 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 they go inside that middle party. Oh. Yeah, they go inside this part. Okay. I heard the prize is a hundred dollars. Time of inflation. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta this cost you may look like you need the money. I'm put ya, yeah, put ya. No hand shoe. Oh, God, this is gonna. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I'll see y'all when it's inflated. Hey guys, I'm getting in full costume. With me and my diny. Oh, me up. This is heavy though. Oh my god. It feels heavy though. Wait, oh. Ah, here we go. Okay. Ah, here we go. Very unserious costume. Okay, going inside, and I feel like I have the best costume. So let's see. And we are back. Good afternoon. It is now 12:37. Um per usual my camera died. Um, but I did win. Oh, I didn't even show you guys my new glasses. People think that they are not like prescription, but they actually are cute, right? Um, so anyways, well, it would make sense to drive with them on, right? <laughs> so, um, I did win the costume contest. Big up me. Um, 
and it felt so good to win especially because i wouldn't say i put minimal effort but i didn't go too crazy this year and i still won so i was very happy about that um so i went home after the party and then i just went to sleep um but anyways i'm heading to my reschedule appointment for this morning um i'm hoping i'm not late it says i'll get there at 12 50 and my appointment is set for one o'clock um so i had to run to the bank and all that kind of excitement oops i don't have a mount for my camera yet um, i'm actually gonna order it as i get into the um as i get into the salon chair because if y'all see how my camera is like shaking right now because it's on like my dashboard um anyways tonight is date night um i'm going to brooklyn chop house uh never been there before so kind of excited about that so it's 50 50 i found the restaurant he pays for it um sometimes he finds it too but i you know i have my my little tiktok and i like to find like different restaurants in new york or jersey fun fact about me for somebody who lives in new york i i love jersey um i actually used to date a guy in jersey so i think that's what really um piqued my interest on like jersey living jersey life um but i genuinely like to dine in jersey whether it's with my friends or with my significant other i'm always going to suggest jersey if brooklyn or manhattan or queens or one of them is not really you know if i'm not really feeling the vibe so anyways i will catch you guys after i get my hair done and i can't wait to feel like so pretty sometimes you're not having a bad day sometimes you just need your hair done and i haven't had a weave in my hair well like a sewing i should say since like august so yeah pretty hype about it so i'll catch you guys after this appointment let me hurry up and rush because my late and me not pay a late fee done talk all right <laughs> later Hey guys, so I am finished my hair. I left it pink curled because it's actually raining right now. But she did such a good job. I'm not gonna lie. It, it definitely made up. I really think it was a miscommunication thing because she did such a great job. Uh, I'm on the phone with um, this amazing baker. Her name is Saved as Shelby. Hey <laughs> Her name is Saved as Shelby the Stallion. But this is Shelby Shortcakes. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you guys book holiday season is coming so make sure yes. you guys book her for your friendsgivings christmas holidays breakups you know we we we, <laughs> we work with all occasions okay so I yeah i specialize in breakups so yes yeah Hit but me up. exactly the tea is too hot i would keep y'all on but the tea is just too hot <laughs> So, you know, I'm about to go running in my nails. Very unserious. Very unserious. Very. And it's 4.43, so I'm trying to get home by, like, the latest 7. So, I will see you guys when I get home. Oh, and I'm drinking a salsa. To know me is to know I love salsa. Um, I'm not a fan of soda whatsoever. So, all right. I gotta go. Bye. And we are back. So, I am home now. It is 6.53. And my boyfriend is coming at eight o'clock. Reservations were for eight, but um, that had to get pushed back once. Um, I didn't get my hair done. And when I didn't do my nails this morning, so that was a bad idea. I should have just did my nails from this morning. Oh my gosh. Tell me you're West Indian without telling me you're West Indian. Look at my damn panties in the back. So, I have about 30 minutes to do my makeup. That should be enough time because I'm not doing like eyeshadow. I have my lashes on already. Um, so, I think I should be fine. So, yeah, let's get to work. So, I actually need to unpack my kit because um, I haven't unpacked it since... I, I took a makeup client in September. Fun fact, I used to like, when I say dream of being like a celebrity makeup artist, 
a part of me wishes that I didn't like give up on that um like that's probably a whole nother video on, on why I think I wouldn't say like I'm pessim well I am a little pessimistic like I wouldn't wish bad on like people but I can be very negative like towards myself when it comes to like my dreams my aspirations um you know and you know that's probably another video but that actually really came from church if i could be quite honest and i feel like there needs to be like an honest conversation about like church hurt and how far back like the like sometimes church can put you and i didn't say god i said church so i mean like remember the church is a building of people so i'm not talking about like a spiritual relationship nothing like that but it definitely holds a conversation that sometimes some of the most hurt that people have experienced comes from church and it it really shouldn't especially because that's just this is just not the way that church is designed like it's a place of you know for the sick to be healed the broken to be fixed and it's like all these negative emotions that come from unfortunately church is just one of those things where it's just like oh brother so you know but yeah i always i definitely wanted to be a makeup artist when i came out of high school um but i just was not confident especially because i applied for mac and i didn't get it so it really like it really crushed me so you know i think what's meant for me can't miss me and I genuinely think like I'm at a place in my life that bigger and better is in store. Like I feel like when you really finally align with what you're supposed to do, I feel like things work out. you guys can really see the full look like this anyway um i just wanted to show you guys the look it actually fits absolutely perfect this jacket is just for like style you see the vibe that i was going for yes hmm. so yeah and then my shoes are from pretty little things so i probably won't try these on until my boyfriend says he's outside and um it's miss to eight right now so he probably might be outside So I always like I've made it like a habit to start my mornings. Ooh, and I don't got the thing, y'all. Sorry, <laughs> but I have made it like my habit to start my mornings with um, praise and worship. Like it just really puts me in a different space. Hope you guys have an amazing day. And um, I can't show what I do for work because I can get fired. So I will definitely catch you guys um, as I'm leaving work. Okay? Be blessed. Um, you guys are amazing. And um, yeah. Hello. And we are back. I am actually heading to Pilates. Yes, I said Pilates. Um, I decided to start because I really want to become more intentional with like my wellness um i really want to be active especially as i'm getting older um i really want to be one of those people who stay active because health is really wealth and as much as i might not love to work out all the time you do feel better after you know 
you have worked out so and like i'm just in such a good mood i started my day with some gospel i got some work done and now i'm going to pilates like i just feel very i just feel good like i controlled how i wanted my day to go i controlled my mood my vibe my energy and i want to have like more days like this so i will keep you guys posted when i leave pilates bye and i'm back with a target bag i feel like all women there's just something about target and us that it just does something for the soul when you make a good target run and you get the things that you need so pilates was an interesting experience um first of all i am very much out of shape um i was able to do the moves but i just have to work on my form so i do think this is something that i can do once a week I remember i told you guys i want to control the narrative of my mondays no more dreading mondays so I want to start my Monday strong, so I think I'm just going to stick to one day a week for now for Pilates. And then, um, you know, eventually I will do two once I get it together. Then after Pilates, I went to Target because I have to show you guys how I make um, my salads. You know how, like, when you, if you work in the city, you always spend, like, $30 on salads? Not me. When I go to Target, I buy my ingredients, and it lasts me... It could last, depending on the ingredients, like a week, four days, for the price of like one salad. Because in the city, a salad will run you like almost $20, if I'm not mistaken. So this is my Target salad. So I get the Good and Gather bag. This is a Caesar, classic Caesar. They have like buffalo, Southwest, um, avocado, lime. Like they have very good um, salads. Some come chopped and some don't. I really don't like pre-chopped salad. I don't like the texture. So I like the Good and Gather salad. It's really good. Then I already have cheese in my fridge. So I didn't need cheese. And I actually, well, one is for my boyfriend. And then this one is for work tomorrow. So I bought those salads. This is like my, this snack right here, for some reason, it's just been my vibe for like the past maybe month now. I love cheese. It's um, Cheddar Jack chef's kiss um and then this is the chicken i would typically eat it with and this is all like in the same section so right by the fruits i'm not eating chicken right now so this is for my boyfriend and it's uh fajita chicken my old co-worker actually put me onto this whole salad so i should give her credit for that basically warm it up and you can eat and i bought this peanut butter because this is actually for my breakfast tomorrow for work for breakfast, I typically have Ezekiel bread with either avocado and the everything seasoning or uh, the Ezekiel bread with peanut butter. So because I'm not eating meat, um, I am going to try out this tuna. It's a sweet and spicy and this is from Tuna Creations. And I hope that it's good. It had some good reviews. So let's see. I'm going to show you guys how to make a salad. And then you also need a big bowl. It's it's all in the bowl, especially a bowl where you could, you know, shake it up and it's big enough to hold this salad because this might not look like a big bag, but it is. And also what I love about this bag, it comes with cheese and croutons. So technically, I really don't have to add any cheese or croutons, but my them. So I am going to add extra cheese. I'm going to show you guys how I make my salada. Oh, and I got an egg boiling on the stove. So this is about to be a really good salad, chicken salad. I wonder where she is. Now that I think about it, where is that lady who did the, it's a chicken salad. You remember her? It's a chicken salad. From where? 81st Deli. What's on it? Superior. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me show you guys how to make the salad. Target 
chicken salad. Well, this is for my boyfriend. Um, remember, I'm not eating meat, so I just made his first. Um, and yeah, I'm about to make mine now. Okay, so I just finished my tuna Caesar. I'm not gonna lie, I think I put a little bit too much dressing. But this is my post Pilates meal. Trying to keep it, you know, slim and trim during the week. And then weekends, you know, I'm a cocoa palico, something, something. So, um, yeah, bon appetit. About to watch a movie on Netflix. Um, leave down below what movies I should catch up on on Netflix because um, I don't know. I'm a fall asleep anyway, but it's a thought that counts. And, yeah, we're about to just um, enjoy the night, eat some salad, and go to bed. So, I probably will see you guys later this week. Bye. happy friday happy friday guys um it was definitely a long week so glad that it's over uh, um so the rest of my week after pilates um i really just was at work <laughs> um i applied for some jobs um i worked both my jobs i didn't work too much this week um but you know i did put in my hours um but anyways, tonight is for fun. I typically work on Friday nights. Fun fact, I actually don't like to go out on a Friday night. I really don't. I think it was just um, like how I was raised. Um, Fridays, I had to go to church. And um, I'm just not really used to going out on a Friday night. Like, if you want to know if I'm ever in danger, if I say, hey, let's go out on a Friday night, then you know, like somebody has kidnapped me because i'm just not a type of person to go out on a friday period um but anyways tonight is a special night um it's one of my high school friends kira it's her birthday tomorrow um so we are going to r&b fridays and then after that we're going to um twin excellence uh, so um i'm going to like two parties tonight um and yeah and i gotta work in the morning so um you know i'm just hoping that i don't be well i'm not drinking right now i don't know if i told you guys this but i stopped drinking like october whatever that first monday of um october was that's when i stopped drinking i went to schmortzburg if you see my, on my instagram nico xo um i did post when i went to schmortzburg i had all the meat all the liquor and I gave up meat and I gave up liquor for the rest of the year. So, um, yeah, I still want to go out, but I just don't want to drink when I go out. And, um, you know, hopefully I don't feel pressured or nobody pressures me to drink, but I doubt it. Um, and, yeah, so I actually packed my spin and night pack. Um, I'm actually going to get ready by my boyfriend's house and so I had to literally bring like my ring light my makeup kit I have like three bags of clothes not of clothes, but like one with my clothes one with my makeup one with my hair stuff um, And yeah, and by the way my hair has been going so good like when I say she really did her thing like She she did her thing. I might have to stick beside her because my appointment went so good too. Like she was really nice but Yeah, I will catch you guys tonight uh, when I'm dressed and yeah later is i am dressed and ready um i'm heading to pick up kila now and um it says that i'm like 10 minutes away so the dress i got from revolve super cool or super down the shades are gucci the sunglasses are um pretty little thing my shoes are shoots and my sunglasses i mean my jacket is from Amazon. I'm gonna link it in my Amazon storefront. And um, my stockings are also from Amazon. So yeah, we'll catch you guys a little later. Bye. Meet Akila. Hi guys. You have to show the people what you're wearing when we get out. So it's now 2.12 and we now got here. But, you know, we had, we had to be grown and go to work first and then come to the party. Okay. So. Hopefully it don't shut down because we now making it to party one and it's 212. So how long are we gonna stay? Mm. We have two spots, I like friend. this. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Nico's channel. Hey. <laughs>
<laughs> Let me fix my other shoe. And the key is low key. Park far and Uber there. Uber there. My friend just taught me something. Yeah, there. cause the parking out here is crazy. But yeah, we're about to go in and have some fun. Happy birthday, Kira. And yeah, I'll see you guys inside. A special guest. Say, introduce yourself, friend. Friend. Catchy. Big up, catchy. Imagine I went to this party. So we went to the party. It was like R and B Fridays. What's the name of that place? Um, uh, Meadows. And like Meadows. Meadows. Yeah. And I'm in a <laughs> And I see this big GT skunt. <laughs> so what the ah she doing here? I mean, it was cool. I think, like, if you, you like, this? that's what I'm saying. You gotta hold it. Yeah. Use the right two lanes. Yeah. If you like, um, like American kind of events, the rap, all that, this is like a nice spot for like a Friday. <laughs> Only thing, I sm my hair smell like so much weed. Well, it's it's not thinking. My hair smell like so much weed. I smell like so much weed, and we're annoyed because we're ladies. We don't like to smell like weed when we go into the spot. Take the exit. Yeah. That's the craziest part. I hate you. do. Like so we're about to head to the twins party now. And yeah, hopefully nobody looks at us like, yo, these bitches smell like mad weed. <laughs> do I have to put on my shoe? Oh my god, I gotta put on my shoe. You do. You do. That's Catch you, you might know mad people there too. <laughs> But I just saw a raccoon. What the hell? Um, anyways, that concludes my night. Um, I don't even know where I'm going. Let me pull over. Cause just to drop the killer off. I'm 25 minutes away from Mikasa. So I'm out to listen to the truth. At the next them. light, turn right. And get home. I'm actually working some overtime tomorrow, so. I actually have to be at work for 8 o'clock and it is minutes to 6 in the morning. So, but one thing about it, I'm going to take my ass to work now. So, I will catch you guys the next vlog. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I hope you guys enjoyed my later.